Yo, yo, it's 24-7 TV, Harry Shotter, DJ Fantasy in the place. Gee. And right now we are blessed by the legend. Yeah. MC Skibbity! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> where did it all start for MC Skibber for those that don't know? Um, where did it start for me? It's like, what was the thing? It's probably about nine, early 90s, you know, mid, mid to early 90s. Was um, it, what, because what... Was you was you before jungle drum and bass? Yeah. Was you into like reggae soul? Well, yeah. What was you, what I, was I mean, I was into all forms of music basically, but I wasn't necessarily an artist of any kind in particular. Do you know what I mean? I just I was just fully into it. I mean, I used to play uh, keys at school um, from when I was five years old. Yeah. Uh, my parents put me into um, learn into piano. piano. Yeah, yeah learning piano. Mm -hmm. So I started learning piano from when I was about five, six, or whatever. Then I started learning the flute for a little bit. Then I was playing steel band for a good um, okay. year or two. Um, piano and drums as well. I started playing. So these are the instruments okay. I, before I even got to secondary school. These are the things that I was playing. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So the musical influence was there from, from a lot. So long was, time. You, was your family like from a musical? Well, background? not necessarily. You know, you know, I grew up on like pop music, just playing yeah, in the house, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, and used to kind of have my little keyboards and try and play some of the keys and try and. You know, play some of the melodies that was, oh, I like that tune, and just mm -hmm. try and play it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's where it really started all, all from me. But I didn't really find any kind of career in music as yeah. such until I just kind of stumbled into a rave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Until mm -hmm. I went to a rave, I didn't think, oh yeah, I'm going to be an MC, I'm going to do yeah. this, I'm going to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what I was really familiar with, what I used to see all the times, you know, a lot of American rappers, a lot of reggae, a lot of singers mm -hmm. and stuff. But I didn't really see many UK artists, um, mm -hmm. you know, as big, you know, yeah. or doing anything in, in that world. So I didn't have everything to myself, oh yeah, I want to be like that, yeah. like, until I went to a rave and saw some UK MCs on the stage doing a thing, and I was like, whoa, okay, cool, mm. yeah. You know what I mean? Similar to you, man, when you come yeah, and you that's see... That's what I'm saying, brother. It's, yeah. like, it's, a, it's a major difference. I was used to seeing big American rappers that's doing their right. thing, tearing it down. Yeah. When I went to like the first Fever, I think yeah. it was, or yeah. Innovation, or whatever it was, I see the way these men were controlling the yeah. crowd. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, my, my age was the Skibbity Shabba. That was, yeah. that was MC convention. Yeah. Yeah. You probably convention. saw the likes of Ragga Twins, Death, right. Moose. And, that's right. That's exactly yeah. what I saw when I got first got into the road. It was like, wow. Mm. And it just really hit me. I'd never seen that before. Yeah. You know, UK guys controlling the crowd. You know, whether it was reggae, this or that, or whatever. But, mm. you know, because for me, I mean, I'd heard about jungle, drum and bass, but I'm not necessarily a person that's like, oh, yeah, that's really cool, I'm going to go there. I didn't yeah. just, I'm not really a fun mm. fashion person. So, no. that, what made you, who took you? Was he your cousin? Right? Yeah, well, basically, what happened, it was a roast, uh, Valentine's roast in 1993, mm. and just like, you know, everyone, all my mates and everyone was like, oh, yeah, jungle, jungle. I didn't even know what it was, yeah. you know what I mean? But it was, oh, yeah, we're going to do this jungle thing. It's like, oh, I just hang along. Yeah. Because, um, yeah. yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Tag along in '93, yeah. running teams in '94. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you think your first award in '94? Not '94. Oh, right. '99 it was. '99. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So a couple of years later when I become established or whatever. But um, yeah, I just really just just kind of came to, to see what it was all about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. I was yeah. really into um, more like kind of um, like I don't know reggae, hip hop, R&B, yeah. more like. Yeah. Clubs, not like house parties yeah. in, in the ends, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that would yeah. go on all night or whatever, disturbing neighbours and stuff like that. That's what you so saw, be like rare groove, kind of, you know, Saxon sound, the old yeah, school yeah, kind of yeah. house kind of yeah. parties, you know what I mean? Whatever was current in there, like, as I said, rare groove, hip hop, R&B, all of those kind of things. So yeah. it was never really drum and bass or rave music and that kind of yeah, environment. Yeah, of and that's why I was like, mm, you know what I mean? But yeah. 15 of my mates going like, oh, all right, come on, let's go and see what's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those ones. And was it, was it like when you went in there, you just went, it did the light just for you? Well, yeah. So is that when you knew you kind of wanted to get on the mic and do your well, thing? Well, yeah, when I came out of there, yeah. I was like, wow, this is what I want to do. And then I think mm. within about two, three months after that, you know, things just started to um, just kind of fall into place. You know, as I said, I went to see my cousin a couple of weeks after that, was just mm. chilling out with him. Mm. And then somebody knocked on the door and was like, yeah, do you guys want to go to the radio? I was like, radio for what? It's like, oh, it's just kind of MC. He was like, really? Yeah. Just like were I was, you writing before that? No, not, no. Really, <laughs> not really. Not really. Not yeah. really. We used to muck around. Not really to write loads of drum and bass yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we used to kind of muck around with lyrics ourselves. Just like yeah, yeah. we'd smoke and like whether a hip hop beat or this or that. Just kind of MC and yeah, jungling yeah. to any kind of tempo, really and truly mm. in the car and stuff. So yeah, he mate would just come around and was like, "Do you guys want to go to the radio?" I was like, "What radio? Yeah, cool. We just ran down there, mm. done this show, went to the show in Fulham." Done this show and the guy was like, "Yeah, you guys are really good. Do you want your own show every week?" Yeah, just like that. I mean, yeah. just, just things are just naturally rolling. Just, yeah, just yeah. from nowhere, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Really just chilling out. Guys said, "Do you want to come and do a show?" We've done a show, got a show every week. All of a sudden, mm. it's like cool, you know. And then we started doing that for a little while, a couple of weeks. I think you know, it was a pirate radio station, so you know, it's sometimes on, sometimes off, yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But um, I was there for a good six months, and that's where I met DJ Ashatat. Okay. 
and DJ, and DJ Ash Attack kind of took me under his wing and was like, yo, you're a really good MC, I want you to MC for me. Do you know what I mean? I was like, oh, cool, nice one. So he started bringing me into various different places. That's why I started mm-hmm. meeting a lot of the other guys in Jungle Jungle Base, because I didn't know anybody at this time, really, truly. Mm-hmm. The only, only person I knew was this guy that had come to say, oh, do you want to go radio? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah, the only yeah. person I knew. Yeah. So as I said, we went to this radio station, met Ash Attack within a couple of weeks or whatever, started MCing for him. He started taking to me to some of the other more established uh, events that were going on at the time. So mm-hmm. um, things like Thunder and Joy. I knew he was going to say Yeah, that. Thunder and Joy, yeah. you know what I mean? That was quite a big wave at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to get on there, you was considered quite lucky not yeah, to be on there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I've got a little set there. It's wicked to, yeah. to be on there. Yeah. But not only that, you know, um, Ash Stack at the time, he had his own event on every every Thursday in, um, in the West End, actually, um, Spirit of the Jungle, number 79 Bar Oxford. Oxford, uh, Tottenham Court Road, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. and he used to have every Thursday night in there, and uh, he made it, it was Skibber <coughs> Hyper D, uh, Skibber D, Fearless, uh, another kind of up and coming MC, mm. and it was Residence, so that's where, you know, he used to have um, various, all these different DJs coming through every weekend, and that's where I really met everybody, so yeah. like one week we'll have Nicky Black Market coming down, next week we'll have, um, I don't know, um, Ray Keith, yeah. after that, Wild Child, that's where I met Marsh after the first playground, yeah. Rocky, Dare, these are the places where I used to, because you used to different, whoever it is, every yeah. week. So you're naturally um, making those connections with the guys at the scene. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. that's why I started meeting everybody. So yeah. I would say do maybe that club for about six to nine months. Yeah, but that's quite interesting yeah, because a lot of people have come to the scene through like their mates. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like your mate is a yeah. DJ and he brings you in. So you've actually not come through like that. I didn't, kinda, not, I didn't have no DJ. Just, yeah. No DJ, no, no MC, no, just kind of come in. Nobody. I didn't know nobody. It was just there. I'm just like, wow, oh, I really like this. And then, as I said, it was fate that, you know, somebody asked me to go to the radio. Yeah. Like, I don't think that usually happens. You don't usually yeah. say, like, oh, do you go to the radio? It's just random, you know what I mean? So, so uh, <coughs> yeah, I didn't, as I said, yeah, I didn't have any links or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Or one or two people said, oh, yeah, I know this DJ, I know this MC, but that never materialised in any way. Mm. It was just purely from somebody just saying, oh, do you want to go to radio, mate? I was like, yeah, cool. And then so how was, did you, how did you, you know, like you was doing like the stuff with Ash, would the next move, like the next sort of big move at that time, would that have been when you got onto call with Wild Well, Child? yeah, once again, you know, doing these things with Ash every Thursday, I happened to do it one time with DJ Wildchild. After doing the set with Virtue, he's like, oh yeah, you're a really cool MC. I need the MC for my show, really yeah. on Cool FM. Yeah. And again, once again, you don't get asked to go on Cool FM at that time. It's no. a big yeah, thing, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah, you. Yeah, 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 big Yeah, and there's loads of other MCs and you know, doing their thing or whatever, but it just seemed like a little kind of fate or very luck. Yeah. You know, she said, oh yeah, do you want to do it? I need an MC for my show. And she was like, yeah, cool. And she was like, uh, do a little demo thing. I was like, okay, cool. Done a little MC demo thing for a sent it to her. And yeah. she hit me back about a week later and she was like, oh, you know, I don't feel like, you know, you're on. You know, <laughs> 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 you see, I was like, yeah. wow. I was like, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was good. Because you gas, yeah? I was gas because I got asked. Yeah, it's yeah, cool yeah. FM. yeah, yeah. All yeah, the yeah. other guys around me was like, oh, Trying to get on cool for man. Somehow I got asked. I yeah. didn't think I was that good. I was all right, yeah. but I didn't think I was that great. Yeah. Like, oh, we need to head up this guy and get him on there. Yeah, yeah. I just saw myself as one of the other guys trying to get in there, but I was yeah. very fortunate, man, that, that I got that little break. You know, seems like a lot of stuff of you just naturally falls into place. Well, it's, not, it's, it's not a big plan. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just fate, man. I'm telling you, bro. There's so yeah. much fun. Every time I think about, it, I'm just like, wow, it's just crazy, yeah. me, bro. Yeah. It just fell into place. I didn't have to like. But my, uh, anything I done, I, I did it at home. I was just at home. I was like, yo, I like this. It's fucking wicked. You know what? Boom. Let me get on right my lyrics, right my lyrics. I spent a lot of time at home. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even. I didn't even start going to all the raves for some reason. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Basically, I didn't pay to go into any rave. Mm. I've never paid to go to go into a rave, into a drum and bass. Yeah. Rave, never. Even from the time that I got into it, I was just like, wow, this is sick. These guys are heavy. So I didn't. I, I'm not. I wasn't into that getting on it and getting drunk. You know, getting lean yeah, and buzzing yeah, in a rave. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't into yeah. that side of it. I was purely into that. Rah, rah, Who's this? What? Who's MCing? What's he doing? What's up? Mm. Trying to get more sets. You know what I mean? Trying to pull him away on just to be on. Yeah. So what was it like back in the day, man? MCing with Hyper D. Yeah. Crazy. Well, we got to touch on yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Hyper D, bro. I mean, he's the don. You know. To me, as I said, when I came into it, people like Hyper D, Fearless, MC Debt. You know, these were the guys that were kind of doing double time already. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So obviously I'm sitting there thinking, wow, you know, these guys are really cool. Especially Fearless. Fearless, I think, was one of the main guys that I've kind of caught on to. And Hyper D as well, mm. to be honest. Um, how, what can I say then, man? It was just fun, really. It's trying, it's trying to be... At them times, I'm trying to get on with these guys. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yo, bring me in, bring me in, bring me in. Yeah. But um, after that whole um, 
uh, radio, the first radio station I was on, that kind of broke down for a little while. And then uh, another thing kind of came up, which was City Sounds Radio, it was a legal radio station. They had a m- month's license. Yeah. And um, they had me on there, they had Hyper D on there. So it's just another little place where I just got to meet one of the mm. main guys and just kind of knock about. And you know, Hyper D kind of took me on his, on, under his wing from an early age and was just like, yo, yes, keep on feeling what you're doing, you're really mm. cool. Kind of screaming the cosign, you, do, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then from then you're like, ah, oh, Piper D's like, yeah, he's bigging me up and that, like, you just get more, it just fuels you more and yeah, more to yeah, like, yeah. right? And that's what I'm saying, all the times I was like, what? Go home, Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it needs to be there or there or there, the only reason I would be there is if I was got a set somewhere. If it's not that, I'm just at home just writing, you know what I mean? Because I'm not into the whole rave culture as such, you know what I mean? No, I just, that. You know what I mean? It's just more about, I just want to do well with this. I, I know what I'm doing, it sounds cool. I think I sound alright. Everyone's saying that I found something wicked or whatever. Mm. So I was just like, just do more, 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 more. I just kept on just writing. 